Well, hello everybody with this special forecast for the Northern Lights and uh, pretty exciting. You know, we think of ourselves as being far north, but we're really not, uh, especially in Southern Minnesota. It is not a common event to see the Northern Lights and it is possible tonight. Uh, and you're going to want to get away from the city, and that means e even out of the metro, anywhere where there's artificial light, because you want the, as dark a sky as possible, because it, they are fainter this far south. But it's worth reminding ourselves, or maybe some don't know, what causes the northern lights? And so how can we forecast it by understanding how it works? So there's the sun. This is a schematic. It's basically junk from the sun being flung at Earth. And it's the reaction of that electro electrically charged stuff with Earth's magnetic field that creates the beautiful lights. And because of the poles, that's where all the energy is uh, deflected to. That's why it's best to see it at either the North or South Pole and, of course, at night as well. And of course, we're in Northern Hemisphere winter where there's lots of night further north. So you have lots of opportunity to see those Northern Lights. So here's a quick uh, sort of animation of how this happens. Thanks to NASA. You have the uh, mini uh, basically electric fields here, or magnetic fields from charged stuff from the sun. And this is what it actually looks like. Pretty cool stuff. So it's electrically charged plasma that eventually is ejected. They call it a coronal mass ejection. It's flung towards Earth about 18 hours after it leaves the sun's surface, it gets to Earth. So that just tells you how far away actually the sun is moving at the speed of light. It takes 18 hours still to get here. So it does react with Earth's magnetic field. You have a day and night aurora. And what we see at night, obviously, the, is the night aurora, where it's kind of like a, a rubber band where it snaps and that energy snaps towards the poles. And we get that brilliant display of greens, purples, uh, dancing around in the sky. And it's all energy reacting with our magnetic field. And we forecast this because well, it's cool to look at, but also it does have effects on satellites and cell phone communications. So they do keep track of this and uh, keep track of that magnetism. And you really see a spike here over the last uh, 12 to 24 hours. And that's why they issue that alert. And this is a look at the Aurora Oval modeled by NASA. And they try to model where that energy is. Obviously, where it's dark, that's where you're going to see it. And then as darkness comes across Minnesota, Canada, Alaska, we will see it as well. So this is what it looked like yesterday. Northern Minnesota would have had a chance to see it, that oval. But what's changed is the more energy you get, the higher that K index, uh, once that moves up, then there's enough energy to go further south. And we see it possibly here in Minnesota, uh, further south towards the Twin Cities. So this is a look at the forecast oval for tonight. And it does spread across Minnesota and Wisconsin. So there is that chance. Of course, the other thing we have to have cooperate is clear skies which is not always the case around here when we have that opportunity. And it is looking pretty decent, better here actually than Northern Minnesota. Now, the further north you go, the better chance of seeing the Northern Lights typically, but they're gonna have more clouds. They've got these high and mid-level clouds coming off kind of the jet stream here out of the Dakotas. And we've got a couple of patches of clouds that will be moving through here in the Southern part of the state, but not as much. And I think there'll be more of those high clouds. So it's all about getting out there when the sky's clear. And uh, again, away from city lights because it's not going to be as vibrant as a National Geographic photo because we are further south at middle latitudes. So uh, here's a look at the forecast cloud cover as we head into the overnight hours. We are going to see some clouds come through occasionally. It won't be 100% crystal clear, but again, better here in the southern part of the state. Northern Minnesota will be dealing with those mid and high clouds. We do see a few clouds here early in the evening. Those are coming out of South Dakota. Clearest time period here I paused is between about 1 and 5. 6 a.m. So that is going to be prime time to see the lights anyway, but also clearer skies. So set an alarm, maybe clouds will start to move back in in the early morning hours. And I want to show you the cloud type here, breaking down the European model. Uh, it is going to be in the form of high clouds that we're seeing. So be aware of that. But again, the best time after midnight, get out there, clear skies away from the city. We're lucky that in the Twin Cities, you only have to drive half hour to an hour and you can be in pitch darkness. So if you're into seeing the lights, a rare opportunity to possibly see them this far south. Good luck.